Yeah, my parents are quite inspirational. They're always very resourceful um, and creative and very practical. And I really appreciate, appreciate that in a person. My brother is too, <laughs> really good at making things. And my dad used to make tents and outdoor clothing in his spare time. And that was my first taste of sewing. And he, I think, is the one who originally taught me to use a sewing machine when I was younger, when I was a kid. So that's really helped me. And develop this. Yeah, I did art, I did photography, um, but, and I do GCC textiles as well, and that was quite interesting, it was like a good kind of snapshot to textiles. Um, but that's it really, yeah. I think in school, especially my school, it was very much like focus on academia, um, so that maybe they didn't really nurture like the creative subjects as much as would have been good for me. Not really, but I've, al <laughs> but I've always loved the creative side of it, and I I really enjoy being creative. I just really want to let a creative focus and I really enjoy making things that are practical and can use them, be it like pottery or something like that that you can use. Um, yeah, so I started off making clothes myself and then the idea of like having friends that wore them and things was really exciting. Um, having strangers wear them is like, you know, really cool. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so just... I don't know, I just thought it'd be a really good creative project and then kind of just see what happens with it from there. I don't want it to be exclusively just for one type of person. Um, it'd be amazing to have like it sourced in little shops, like independent shops, that kind of thing. And it's just really exciting if anyone does approach me because um, it's so unexpected. So it's just really exciting time to be able to have things in shops so like other people can see them that aren't just my friends or my family. Um, as much as I appreciate their support. <laughs> I've got some very stylish friends <laughs> and I think that really helps me and Bristol's a really creative city so there's lots of quite inspirational people and I really like it when someone has their own style and it's they've just kind of gone for it and yeah and then the music industry as well kind of fits into that in Bristol I think so yeah um, and festivals as well, like music festivals, seeing what people are wearing, that's really inspirational to me. And then just the clothes that I enjoy wearing, so I want all my clothes to be the kind of thing that I would wear myself. Um, and comfort is a huge thing as well, so most of my clothes are quite like loose fitting, um, elasticated, that kind of thing. So it fits a variety of sizes as well and is really comfortable because I think that's really important. Uh, there's a woman called Kaylee Russell at the moment and I think she's from Devon and I really like her clothes. Um, there's a company in Bristol again called Made My Wardrobe. I think it's Lydia who um, owns the company and she is the woman actually that's got me started off at the beginning of lockdown. I bought my first proper pattern and kind of went from there. Um, and they're very much encouraging like home sewists and that kind of thing. This is all like, it's so new to me and I'm just kind of rolling with it and seeing what happens. Because it, it was very much like a creative project and now I'm kind of seeing what happens. Um, to be sourced in independent shops would be incredible. Or, um, yeah, to have my clothes in their shops, that would be really, really cool. Um, and I've got a few things like bubbling away. So hopefully something will happen this year. Um, it'd be incredible to do this full time, but you know, I'm not going to put anything on at the moment. But um, that would be a dream, you know, but I'm just going to see what happens in the next five years, I think. So I made this dress and I thought it was great and then someone asked for one and I really didn't enjoy making it. I just, the whole process felt really clunky and nothing kind of worked. So I think only make things that you enjoy making because you're going to be spending a lot of time doing that. So I think that's really important and just don't just make things that people want but things that you enjoy making because at the end of the day you're the maker and you're putting time into it so I think that's really important. There was a person on Instagram that just found me Now this is the first person who I sold something to that wasn't a friend or didn't know me so that was really exciting um, and yeah she just approached me on Instagram really liked my, my things and bought a scrunchie originally um, she bought something from my Etsy shop when it first opened um, yeah, and she gave me really wonderful feedback on that and said she really liked it and yeah and it's just nice 
uh, people, strangers are supporting local businesses, small businesses, instead of, you know, the huge shops that you can just go buy anything from.